And tonight we're sitting down with a man who took over for Gary McCarthy. John Escalante took the reins of the department earlier this week. He just spoke to our Suzanne Lemonio after his first few days on the job. And Suzanne joins us live from outside police headquarters. And Suzanne, we know it's been a very busy time for the interim superintendent. It certainly has. You know, he talked about what he would do if he was chosen as the city's new police superintendent. And he gave us his reaction after watching the police shooting video of Laquan McDonald captured on dash cam video. I think any video where you, um, where you see death, where you see someone die is hard to watch. And, and obviously in this case, because um, his death occurred at the hands of a Chicago police officer from a shooting, um, probably a, a little harder for, for me personally. We have very good men and women in the Chicago Police Department and we hold them accountable for their actions as I was just saying, just like the superintendent was held accountable for, for the department as a whole. Um, as difficult it is, is to watch, I understand why people are upset by it, perfectly understandable why there has been the uproar and the protest. Interim Superintendent Early John Escalante says the Chicago Police Department but is also ready also to handle more protests Democrats. when the video of Ronald Johnson being shot by an officer is made public, possibly as early as this Monday. Can you describe to us what's on that tape? A different set of circumstances in, in how um, the, the type of call that it was. It was it was actually a man with a gun call. Um, there was a foot pursuit. With the recent police shootings captured on video, Escalante says if chosen as the next superintendent, his first task would be to renew the public's faith in the department. How do you do that, though? We can't move forward as a department, no matter what improvements we make internally, if we don't reach out to the community and start um, either repairing some of those bridges that have been damaged over the last few weeks, or, or in some cases, and in some communities, actually building bridges that never existed. Escalante also says the department is now reviewing, actually they started today, any statements made about police-involved shootings at the scene because of past inconsistencies. He stresses that he wants absolutely no appearance of a cover-up to be made as an investigation in any police-involved shooting moves forward. We're live at Chicago Police Headquarters at 35th and Michigan. Suzanne LeMignot, CBS2 News, Erica Robb. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.